The Chancellor announced an extension of the alcohol duty freeze until 2025 in that spring budget earlier on today. Now, Jeremy Hunt says that extension will benefit 38,000 pubs across the UK. Well, I'm delighted to say I'm joined now by Emma McCorkin, who's the Chief Executive of the British Beer and Pub Association. I've got job envy for starters. So, a freeze on alcohol duty. Um, is that the you know, large measure that you wanted or do you feel a bit short changed by Jeremy Hunt's budget today? Well, listen, we'll take no further increases. Uh, a duty freeze is welcomed by brewers and pubs and consumers alike. But it is valued about £114 million. But we're looking into the face of a cliff edge of increase due to wage increases and business rates of £450 million in April. So it's only gone a very small way into covering those cost pressures that we're under. So it, it was a bit disappointing from that perspective that they didn't give us what we wanted. And what did we want? Cuts. Mm. Cuts that would have meant we could have reduced the cost of a pint, reduce the cost of running our pubs and be able to grow and continue being the beating heart of our communities. And Emma, I know you've been fighting tirelessly since the very beginning of lockdowns. Hospitality, of course, was hammered. It was really, really under the cosh. And indeed, a very sobering statistic here. More pubs closed in the first half of last year than the whole of 2022. And simply landlords are struggling with the soaring costs of supplies, of food, of energy and wages. So a cut would have given them some wiggle room. But is this enough? Uh, the reality is, is that these cost pressures keep mounting on businesses. We saw 530 pubs close their doors for good last year, an acceleration um, in the amount of pubs closing their doors. And this is something we want to see close and uh, sorry, stop um, and the closure and, and see that there is going to be this period of stability for the sector where they can recover. They can keep helping invest in people and places, which they do. But the reality is this budget, unfortunately, doesn't touch the sides of the taxation burden that they're under. And so the reality is we could be looking at, again, 500 to 600 pub closes this year when the opportunity could have been missed. But I do hope that the public will swing behind it, mm. perhaps with that NI cut in their pocket. They'll feel that they can go out and have that extra pint. And my goodness, their local will need it. And pubs, of course, aren't just a place where you get a drink, especially in villages, in towns. They're a place where people go to have company, to stay warm, to keep in control and in touch with the community. The great British pub is a part of the fabric of our nation. And it's not just somewhere where you go for a pint. I absolutely agree with you, Martin. Pubs really matter. That's why I do my job and I'm so passionate in fighting and making the argument. And we made the case very clearly to government that we needed more. We needed more support in business rates. We needed more support in VAT to keep the Great British Pub alive. It is an economic activator. It is a multiplier on the high street. But more than that, it's that social value, that cultural value it brings to our societies that will be so much poorer without. So I hope that in the next fiscal event, maybe happening in a few months, they will think again on what they can really lean into to back British pubs. Super. Thank you very much. We'll all drink to that. Emma McClough, being Chief Executive of the British Beer Pub and Beer Association. Thank you so much for joining us.